Hey guys, welcome back to AJ Travels. My name is AJ and today I am going to be talking you through the Dry Suit Diver course. So the Dry Suit Diver course then, this is one of Paddy's speciality courses. So once you've completed your open water course, you've got these little speciality courses that you can do to learn specific skills, such as there's a list, there's like um, deep diver, which obviously teaches you to dive deeper. You've got wreck diver, which teaches you to dive in wrecks. You've got peak performance buoyancy, which means um, allows you to control your buoyancy a bit better. And you've got dry suit diver as well. There's lots more. Uh, if you want to see a full video of all the speciality courses, I'll be going deeper into them in a different video. But this one is just going to be talking about the dry suit diver course. So if you uh, live in the UK and you want to do diving in the UK, then you will need to do the dry suit diver course. This is because there is two different types of suit that you can wear whilst you're diving. One is a wet suit and number two is a dry suit. Now the clue is really in the name with these two. The wet suit is the one that you'd wear abroad in warmer weather uh, because you get wet but it doesn't really matter if you get wet because you're going to be in warmer water. The dry suit, clues in the name, keeps you dry. Now this is more to be used in colder waters because in colder waters, you don't want the water getting into the suit. You don't want to get wet. So wet suit, warmer water, dry suit, colder water to keep you warm. Now, you can dive in the UK in a wet suit, but you'd be, you'd be very, very silly to try and do that because it is just too cold. If you're diving in the UK, the water is too cold and you're going to want a dry suit, which means, essentially... If you dive in in the UK, you're pretty much going to have to do this course. So what can you expect from your dry suit diver course then? Well, it's the structure and the layout of the course is pretty much the same as all your other courses that you're going to go on. There's a theory section, there's a skills section, and there's a practical section. So I'll break them down. The theory section, you'll get a book and you'll have to read through the book and answer the questions in the book. I think there is a e-learning for this course. So if you want to do the e-learning, I always prefer the e-learning. If you want to do the e-learning, then you can do all your theory online. Or if you prefer a book, you can do it from the book. But if you get the book like I did, um, then you just read through the book, read all the stuff, and there's some quizzes in there. You do the quizzes, and then when you go for your practical session, your instructor will ask you some questions about um about what you've read and make sure that you've got all the quizzes right so that's the theory section then you move on to a skills based section which like all the other courses will be done in a swimming pool so you'll go to your local swimming pool with your instructor and they'll do a, a, a number of different skills in a dry suit so you'll put a dry suit on probably for the first time if you've got qualified abroad like i did i got qualified in lanzarote so when i did my open water course I did it in a wetsuit. So my dry suit diver course was the first time I'd ever actually put on a dry suit. So when you go to the swimming pool, you'll do your skills. It might be the first time you've ever put on a dry suit. So you'll learn how to put on a dry suit properly um, and how to zip it all up and how to get the air out properly. Uh, and then you'll get in the pool and they'll teach you a number of skills. Um, like there's one you have to hold on to a weight and be upside down and then try and get yourself back the right way around again. This is because if an emergency situation happens and you are the wrong way up in a dry suit, you need to know how to correct it, get back to normal again. Um, so yeah, they'll teach you a number of skills in uh, the pool. And then as always, there is a practical section where you will have to then go out to open water. Uh, if you're in the UK, this can be a lake or a quarry like Eight Acre or Cape and Ray. And you will practice the skills that you've done in the swimming pool in an open water setting. Now, once you've done all that, then you'll be qualified and uh, you'll be able to do, well, you'll be able to swim in a dry suit. So, yeah, 
that is pretty much it theory from a book skills in a swimming pool as always they'll teach you your skills they'll teach you how to put a dry suit on properly and then you apply those skills in open water we're going to take a second to talk a bit about pricing now the if you've not done one of the speciality courses before the pricing is slightly uh, cheaper for the speciality courses than it is for your big courses because you're not really uh, getting as much out of it your big courses like your open water your advanced your rescue diver they're all going to be um, more expensive because they're big milestones they teach you a lot whereas though your little individual speciality courses that teach you specific skills like going deeper diving in wrecks diving in a dry suit they only teach you one thing so they're going to be cheaper than the big courses so i think um for my open water i paid about 300 euros to do my open water and then i did my uh, dry suit course in the uk i paid about 95 pounds so it is cheaper for the speciality courses than the big um than the big courses now this is the point in the video where i give you a few top tips on your dry suit diver course on what things people find easy and what things people find a bit harder now i would say in the easy category i would say stuff like uh the skills i found the skills to be quite easy because once you're in the water if you are you know used to being in the water like if you've grown up around swimming pools and you've done like handstands and forward rolls and stuff in the swimming pool when you've been messing about as a kid you'll probably be fine with this course because it's a lot of that sort of you know it's you're going to find the skills section probably the easiest out of all the sections um in terms of hardest and what people uh, tend to find tricky i found the theory and the revising to be a bit trickier than the other courses because you have to learn about um different types of pressure and different types of uh, air pressure because you need when you're wearing um a dry suit you need a different amount of weight than if you were wearing a wetsuit because the thickness of a dry suit is different the buoyancy of a dry suit is different so you actually need uh, a different amount of weight when diving in a dry suit to diving in a wetsuit so for your theory side of it you'll have to calculate your air pressure and and use that to calculate how much weight you need um so when you go for your skills you'll know how much weight you'll actually need and i found that a bit complicated um, but if you do find it complicated just speak to your instructor your instructor will be able to talk you through it your instructor will know because they've been doing this job for years if you get stuck like i did just speak to your instructor and they'll be able to talk you through it and go through all the calculations that you need to know other things in terms of what you might find difficult if you are putting on a dry suit for the first time they can be quite hard to get into if you're used to wetsuit diving and you've put on a dry suit for the first time you might find it quite hard to get into just persevere a lot of people like to use like uh, baby powder because you've got elasticated cuffs and an elasticated neck on your uh, dry suit so it can be quite hard to get into but if you use baby powder put it on the wrists and the neck then uh, they are easier to get on and a lot of people do use that little trick but yeah that is pretty much everything there is to say for your dry suit diver course guys it's not really that hard of a course in terms of like difficulty level for the courses i would say this is quite an easy course it's not like up there with the wreck diver or the deep diver course it's quite a low level easy course and i think you know if you know your theory you'll smash it and you'll just be fine so yeah that's pretty much all there is to say guys i've talked you through what to expect from your course your theory your skills your practical side I've told you some top tips and I've also told you what people find easy and what people find hard. If you do want to see some more videos going in depth in these speciality courses, then please do stay tuned because I've got a lot more of them kind of videos coming. I'm going to be going in depth talking about all the different speciality courses in the future and I'm going to be doing a whole video just dedicated to all the speciality courses together. So stay tuned for that. If you do like this sort of content guys if you like diving videos if you like travel videos we do a lot of that on here then please do subscribe to this channel because we've got a lot more of that coming 
and hit that like button if you did like this video but that's pretty much it guys i hope you do well on your dry suit dive of course and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>